Hi, good morning. This morning is a midweek update. I just want to talk about something that I am incredibly passionate about and that is audio. And this is something I've talked about a lot on this channel is audio fades. Fading your audio in and out of your audio cuts. Now why is this important? When you have a lot of quick cuts back to back in your sequence or your timeline, if the audio is not properly faded, you're gonna get a click or a pop sound. I've talked about this a lot. Those of you who've been with me since the beginning, you know this is becoming very redundant, but here's an example of a couple big YouTubers who don't use this trick and you hear clicks and pops. Quick disclaimer before I, before I talk about this. Many people don't even notice this, including maybe these big YouTubers, so maybe this is a moot point. I just wanna do my best to spread the audio gospel so that many, as many people as possible can be saved by good audio. I don't know if you're a fan or not of Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat, two really prominent YouTubers on the platform. I'm a big fan of both of those individuals. Look up to both of them in different ways really am inspired by what both of them create across the board well they just did kind of a joint vlog situation about Amsterdam and a trip they both took there and spent a day together did a bunch of filming it was great both of them were incredibly entertaining to watch however in both those videos there's rampant clicks and pops examples here without anybody telling how I could do it so I figured that was just the best way and then... hey guys you want to rent some bikes so nice I don't think I think we're funny, Peter. <laughs> I think we're funny. <laughs> Did that make sense? It was a good tip, yeah, thanks. Shooting B-roll and slow motion and transitions and like heavy into the sound design, that kind of thing. Whereas Casey is very strong and very good. So if this is just a message to the YouTube community, to the video community, to the filmmaking community, don't forget to fade your audio in and out. Don't forget to fade your audio in and out. In Premiere, I did a tutorial on this. I can link that up here. In Final Cut, it's as simple as dragging your little keyframes on your audio, going in there after your cuts are already done and putting in a stock transition so you don't have to worry about clicking and popping audio. Very important. Okay, just thought I'd spread that audio gospel today, this morning. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you on Black Friday.